here we go i'm straight back into a chapter eight looking for a serious relationship which one are we targeting it's time to settle down and find the one can you make the right moves and not float by choosing the wrong person goal find a good man oh we're playing as a woman again it's even better please be playing as a black woman i've always wanted to be a black woman Hey, Spat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. Yeah, we're still good? Okay, great. Well, where are we gonna go? Because I wanna go somewhere where the guys are nice. I'm so sick of these players. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Okay, yeah, let's do that. What time? Eight? Perfect. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. Do you, you recognise her? It's the same girl we played as last time, just with no makeup on. That's what I said to him. Yes. <laughs> Where should we sit? It is her. She's crazy. Hey, the black girl's pretty nice. It's a shame we can't get her, man. Way to hang out at the bar. Right, we've learned we need want to sit in the middle. Well, we didn't learn that one, you. So we're open to being approached. Where should we sit? Where oh, I might, that might be wrong. Um, yeah, okay. okay. Oh, wait there. Let me just, before we go there, I might have picked the wrong choice. Because if you're sat in the centre, that means you want to get approached. But maybe in this instance, you don't want to get approached. You want to do the approaching. We'll find out. Ah, oh, stop the game. Yeah, this. It's good. This I like it. Perfect. <laughs> this is always a great place to start if you're trying to catch someone's eye. Mm -hmm. People are walking by, people are ordering drinks, mm -hmm. and so it's easy for a guy to start a conversation if you're if you're there versus in the corner just having. Yeah, a... makes you noticeable. You're confident if you're standing in the middle of the room. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your holiday. Oh. It was amazing. The weather was beautiful. The oh, beach. Really? And what about guys? <laughs> of course, we were guys. Okay. <laughs> hmm. But you have to go. Amazing. Is it her? It really does look like the the girl from the the nightclub. But I'm not sure. Wait, right, how to get the attention of the guys? Well, obviously, smile and have fun. Guys love it when you're friendly and approachable. So yes, yeah. yes. Let's just have some fun. Yeah, we're gonna write this night. <laughs> she's put, she's a bit over the top with it, isn't she? <laughs> yes, I know. For me, if I'm uh, thinking of approaching someone, if they look more approachable it's yeah. always good uh, versus kind of looking moody yeah absolutely and if they're having fun with their girlfriends it makes them seem more approachable you will have more fun with them if they're having fun with their girlfriends mm -hmm. and women look more beautiful when they're smiling of course they always do agreed <laughs> so ladies what can i get you um i'll have a gin and tonic please yeah me too please are you having a good evening tonight Ooh. Pick your nose and eat it so you won't be interested in you. Oh. The right answer is going to be be friendly, right? But we want to pick our nose. Am I playing as the black girl? I hope I am because she's got a banging body. Oh, no, we are playing as the white girl. Oh, that is... <laughs> Mood killer. What? Good one? No. Can't you think of anything else that could make it obvious that you're not interested in him? Not really. Um, I no? mean, no, no, no. Okay. Keep it classy. Oh shit! I thought that was going to be a game ender. About but... this bar? Yeah, I think it's a really good bar. How to react to the other people in the room? Pretend to be a lesbian and put on a show.
Look at your friend and don't pay attention. No, that's definitely the wrong one. That's going to be right. Pick up brief eye contact and smile. But, sorry guys, I'm a man and I need to see some lesbian action. I have a great idea. Her great Hi. ideas are always amazing. She goes off the charts. <laughs> to get things started. I thought she was going to be more wild with it. This will get attention, but what kind of attention? Yeah, I think it's the wrong kind of attention, especially if you're looking for a long-term relationship. So it looks like I've got to find a new job. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. I don't want to. I love the people I work with, you know? Yes, yeah, see. But don't worry, I'm sure he'll find the better one. Yeah, oh, no. I guess. It'll be fine, it will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> ladies, ladies, ladies. Roger. Louise. Roger. Sarah. <laughs> How's life? Great. <laughs> it is the same girl because she was called Louise, I remember. Where do you live? So, I kind of live on my mate's couch at the moment because my mum kicked me out and my dad also kicked me out. Then my stepdad kicked me out. But that's fine because, you know... What the fuck is this guy doing? That's fine because they don't like me. I don't like them, so we kind of just meet in the middle in this like really cool vibe thing where we're sort of like together in sort of like just mutual, you know, don't really care about each other, which means makes me really like independent and forward because I don't need them and they don't need me. And I think that's really cool. She does. Guy fell off the back of the fucking short drink. Book, really he? nice. Try some. What the fuck is this guy come as? That's good. More time for me. Wink. Oh. oh, we need to go home with this guy. Oh, Roger. I love a man with daddy issues. More time for me. Get in there, sunshine. is not the way to handle it in most cases right no i mean if she also had family issues then maybe they could have found some common ground and they could have had a conversation there but she just cut that off straight away well obviously even even if she had family issues you wouldn't be like oh mint i've got family issues as well let's dwell in the hatred fuck that I think this is quite a clear indication that she doesn't want to be, I don't know, want her, any interaction between him. Yeah, this one, um, the right answer was to reject him because he has uh, problems with his family, bad relationships. So ah. what do you think of that? Yeah, this is an interesting one because I think if she was also to have bad relationships with her family, then maybe they could connect on a mutual basis. But maybe if she has a very good relationship with her family, they might clash later on. So basically, if they're both cunts, let them be cunts together. And if they're both happy, let them be happy together. That's what that's what she said. If you can't maintain a relationship, you, you've got to try and find someone who also can't maintain relationships. And maybe two wrongs make a right. So two people who can't maintain relationships maybe can maintain their own relationship. However, I highly doubt it. Right, how to reject them. We we'll kind of see the light. I wonder if he's like murdered us or like Roe Hypnold would drink because we're just seeing some bright lights now at the minute. Deal with him quickly and politely. That's what it is. Roger, you're a lovely guy, but um, we're waiting for some other guy friends to come, so thanks for chatting with us. Right.
Yeah, he might have been a bit simple. You don't want to be nasty. What the fuck? He's went outside to murder someone, honey. Okay, so she's rejected him. That's right. And then the way to do it. Um, should you be like really harsh and horrible or, or was it right to? No, absolutely. Always have self-respect and be polite to others. I think that's always the best approach. Because also other guys are watching and if you're awful, rude, you humiliate him, then uh, they'll be scared to approach as well. What a shame. Poor guy. I mean, it's not his fault, but too many issues. I could never date a guy like that. Yeah, I see. Did you see this guy behind you? He looks real cute. There he does. Had to get his attention. Put your leg behind your head and tap him on the shoulder. That'll do it. Bend over so you can see your ass and all its glory. Oh my god, this is the right answer. Or do something sexy with your tongue, that is also amazing. Right. That's the right answer. That's the right answer. Open your body language to him and glance over from time to time, but... Gotta see that ass, son! That's how you get his attention. She is filthy, isn't she? And so she looks really good with her hair back. I'm going to say is actually probably not bad if, uh, you know, she's looking for something casual. Really? But for a serious relationship, yeah. it's maybe not the first thing you want a guy to notice. No, I think it's going to be sending out all the wrong messages there. Mm -hmm. Richard's like, mm-hmm, uh, maybe, but I still definitely want to see dead ass. Oh, we need to say something sexy with the tongue. <laughs> we need to say it. Watch and learn. I've actually got a semi on looking at this. Wow. That's not sexy at all. <laughs> that is. <laughs> is he not interested? What a little bitch. He wants me. That's the fucking guy. Maybe the wrong kind of attention here. Yeah, too sexy or the or the wrong kind of sexy. Yeah, wrong kind of sexy. The the guy that's sitting behind that is the the cocaine guy who couldn't get his dick up from the other club. The I like how the it's so strange how they've reused the same actors, but even though it's the same person, they the look different because of the way they've dressed them up. It's quite it's quite clever. Right, we're going to do it properly. Open your body language to him and glance over from time to time. I wonder if he's still a, a raging cocaine addict. Okay, I'm just going to play casual. Okay. Does it work? So this is the right option again, well done. And you know, this is another signal that women will give. It's not super strong again. Uh, so you kind of need to learn, you know, what they look like. Yeah, body language is a big key thing, I think, for women to show that they're interested. Oh, she's got him. He's accepted the beat. Oh yeah. Girls seem like you're having a nice time. Well, answer them then. Just left them hanging. What the fuck? You're the one I've been searching for. That is awesome. But what we're going to do, we're going to be quite friendly. Yeah, we're having a really nice evening. Thanks. 
Nice. What are you drinking? Uh, gin and tonic. How about you? Uh, whiskey, bourbon. Nice. I yeah. love this bar. Yeah, it's a good bar. It's a nice place. And? So he's approached, yeah, and if you're super, super friendly, maybe it's too much, because why would she be so friendly immediately? Uh, if she's too tough, he might get put off, so yeah. the middle ground is the right choice. Yeah. If in doubt, the middle's always right, right? I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Louise. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my friend. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hi, nice to meet you, Sarah. I'm Nick. I hope, um, I hope we get to see Richard because I want to get that, I want to get that black lass laid. I really do. And I think she's a uh, perfect for some Richard loving. Right, now to find out whether he's a party boy. That's the same question we asked, we got to ask him last time. How many girls have you fucked before? Ask him where to get some cocaine. Right. Oh, it's hard this episode because I do want to find out what the bad choices are because like it leads to some hilarious situations. But at the start of this episode, it didn't give you a red screen and a chance to replay it. It just like continued on. I really want to ask him where to get some cocaine. But I think that I don't think that'll be very funny. I think he'll just say no. This is right. Ask him where his favorite bars and clubs are and which nights are good and where, and that will find out what type of type of guy he is. So, where do you like to go out? Like, what's your favourite bar or club? Um, well, I don't really go to clubs, to be honest. Um, I like going to pubs, uh, you know, nice little sort of chill out bars, listen to some live music, a bit of jazz maybe, and that sort of thing. Nice. Nah, good answer, bro. Good answer. That's the right choice. Uh, this is a sneaky one. So, uh, women often have some kind of subtext when they're Always speaking. Always have subtext. Always, I yeah? would say so. So, what's the undercurrent here? What she's trying to do is find out if he's a party boy. So, if he's going to say, oh, on Monday I go there, on Tuesday I go there, and Wednesday that place is good, then she's immediately, she might be saying, oh, wow, that's great, yeah. But she's thinking, oh, okay. No time for me. Party boy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, so you girls seem quite tight. Have you been friends for a long time? or? Yeah, we've been best friends since school. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm friends with a lot of my pals from school as well. Ah, oh, it's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> How to test his intelligence? Oh, that's a bit harsh. What we're going to do is work out a math test. Can you uh, fill out questions 1 to 30 and you've got 10 minutes? Find out whether he knows whether whiskey is bourbon. 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 <laughs> Ask him to solve a math problem. Find out how intelligent he... I, I've, I've completely lost the ability to speak this episode. I'm completely like... I think I had a mental lobotomy. Find out how intelligent he is by the size of his ball sack. That is definitely how you find out someone's intelligence. Look, Nick, um, we are so... Sick and tired of stupid men. Right. Um, I've got a little test. Okay. Do you mind if I do my test? No, no, no. Cool. Just no, to test no. your intelligence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? Cool. Okay. Just relax. Okay. Go on. Okay. Do it. Oh. Should do that again? You see, I just, I just feel the size of your ball, and uh, now I can tell how intelligent you are. Okay. 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 Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, oh, they're pretty good. Oh, well done. Uh, I give that about an IQ of a one four five. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. He'll do. Nice. He'll do. That's twice this guy's getting sure you can uppercut it in the balls. She's a ball grabbing beast, her like. You heard this one, uh, Charlotte. It's quite a new scientific theory. Really, I'm. No, is the answer. I've never heard of that. And I'm doubtful whether that's true science. Why well, yeah, it is. The, the, the correct correlation is the smaller the penis and the saggier the balls, the more intelligent you are. That's what I'm going with anyway. <laughs> right. 
Whew, this is hard. I didn't, I didn't even know the answer to this. How is this going to prove intelligent? Math problem. What happens when we die? It's a bit morbid. So, Nick, I've been reading this really interesting book lately and I'd love to know your thoughts on what happens to us when we die. <laughs> um, well, uh, spiritually, I guess people believe that we transcend into another dimension and exist in a parallel universe. Um, but I suppose scientifically, we rot in the ground and cease to exist. Some Good answer. Jolly question for a Friday night. <laughs> it shows he's a, he's a pretty alright bloke, this guy, isn't he? I think that depends on the person. Um, it could be a little bit morbid, a little bit too serious too early on, but you never know. It might work with some people. But all the other questions were shit. Um, I'm a big fan of tennis. Um, I'm a musician, so I play guitar and drums. Um, I like going to watch live music. I like watching live jazz and blues. Um, I'm a big, big, big UFC fan. Um, just the camaraderie of it and the respect and like the brotherhood and how much they love each other are just, I just think it's amazing. Um, it's not so much about the violence of it, it's more about, you know, the respect they have for each other. I just find it really moving. Sounds shit. This guy is a fucking drag. Now, to get us wrong, I like watching the UFC as much as like, well, not as much as anyone. I, I, I like enjoying the fights and stuff, but when someone's gone on about, oh, the camaraderie, the brotherhood and all, oh, mate. Mate, get out of yourself. See, so you can tell by his lack of muscles that he only watches. And show Maria Nick a choke. Mate, I want to choke this fucking guy out. Bang! UFC, eh? Well, I can tell you're just a spectator of it. Talk them out. You go to the gym? No? Well, oh, don't worry about it, because right, like, um, I train. Right. <laughs> I'm quite strong. But can I show you? Can I show you a little, a little move? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so it goes a little something like this. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, you go on, squeeze. Keep breathing, breathing, breathing. Relax, relax, okay. relax. Relax, relax, relax. <laughs> go to sleep. <laughs> And then just drag him home with you. Oh, he's so cute when he's sleeping. Take him home with you. Like that's some caveman shit that. I would really like to think. I I, I hope. This girl plays crazy perfectly. I would love for her to be in real life as crazy as the character she puts on. It's hilarious. This one's pretty rude and uh, she could be a, a featherweight or a straw weight or a, one of those guys, yeah? Little exactly. Ones. Band She's tamp. super rude. Lion say you like it too. So you only like violence in bed. Say that's a load of shit. That's exactly what I said. That is a load of shit. Oh, you're joking. You're one of them. I mean, don't try and spruce it up as all fun loving and loving each other and caring about each other. UFC. Just a load of brutes being archaic, tearing each other apart. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, what a waste of time that was. Thanks. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, Nick. Got it wrong. Completely wrong. See, he's like, you could tell he was a weirdo by how he was talking about it. Now he's getting all upset. You're completely wrong. Don't say nasty things about my sport. This is bad because it's uh, blocking him. Even if you don't share his interest, you could at least find out why he likes it and, you know, listen for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just killing the conversation. Uh huh. And do you like UFC? Um, I've actually never watched it. Do you like UFC? Yeah, I like it a lot. We always watch it. Oh, great. I know, but we don't like Nick. Nick's not getting in my niggas. Right, it's too violent, but ask why he likes it. Look, Nick, I'm 
going to be brutally honest, and I don't know, I find UFC a bit violent and a bit brutal. Yeah, yeah, um, it is violent, it is brutal. I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of technique and there's, you know, there's a real artwork to it, you know? Okay, I never thought of it like that. Yeah, well, you know, maybe we could uh, watch it together sometime. <laughs> maybe. <laughs>
or how active he isn't. I think Halos is a bit too personal. Maybe active, because like, she's probably not that active either. Although, her body says otherwise, like. Yeah, 26 miles, it's oh, yeah. amazing, isn't that it? It is amazing, yeah. yeah. What's the furthest you've ever run? Like, oh, that's 20 26 meters, meters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what, what you a big runner yourself, and are you? Yeah, I do, I run, yeah. Yeah, what do yeah. you run on, the, in, in a park or on a treadmill? Yeah, or in the park. Got a yeah, dog, yeah. we go running. You got a dog, yeah. what dog you got? He's a big Vime runner. Wow, actually. I've never heard of that dog in my life. Have you ever heard of that dog? Oh, okay, it's just me then, sorry. But you don't <laughs> go to the gym or anything. I don't do go you? to the gym, to be honest, no. I swim in the bath, and I, but that's about <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, what do you, uh, what do you bench? Uh, like, 180. 180, wow. Drums. Yeah, cool, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. He checked out her arse there. Did you see that? He looked down. He was either checking out her funny or her arse. I think you can choose a guy on his style. I think as long as it doesn't go too much into the over-personal. Yeah, I think you can tell. It's a lesson for guys as well. So there's some things that you can tease women about and some things that they would just be, you know, uh, too personal mm. or too sensitive. But uh, the other important point here is that it is an indicator of interest usually when a woman teases you. So don't, don't get worried if women do that to you. And also you don't want to be necessarily with a guy who can't take being teased. That's why it's a good test, yeah. So um, are, you, uh, are you single or? Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm single. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, guys, I just forgot. My friend is waiting for me outside. I've got to go. I'll call you later, dear. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, she's a very good wingman. Wingwoman. Okay, no problem. Take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh. It's a shame I wanted to get to know that black lass a lot. Oh, so lot. we're both single. That's a good start. Mm -hmm. A lot more. Check whether he has big ears to see if he has a big dick. Is that a thing? Does big ears mean a big dick? I thought a big dick meant you had a big dick. There's no other way you can gauge that, really. Check his bank balance. That's devastating. Ask what he looks for in a woman. I don't know if anyone can remember this. In the, I think it's in the first game of Super Seducer when you're playing as Richard. Um, the woman asks, pardon me, the woman asks Richard what he looks for in a woman and one of your replies is my dick. <laughs> Fucking great. Fucking great. That's exactly what I look for in a woman. Right, it's going to have to be this. I hope he says my dick. You seem like a really nice guy. Um, what do you look for in a girl? Um, <clears throat> a good sense of humour. Um, kind. Someone I can have fun with, someone I can have a laugh with, someone who wants to travel. Generic, um, boring. Someone easy going, doesn't take themselves too seriously. Nice. Yeah. That was a shit boring answer. This is quite a cool question for women to ask, and guys, you might get asked this. Uh, in general, your response, if it just lists the physical attributes look, you look for in a woman, uh, it means you're probably not looking for something serious. And if you have kind of thought about what you want in a long-term relationship, then you'll have that already ready to tell her. Yeah, it shows aspiration if you're talking about her character. It, yeah, it seems more thought out. Well, it's just a standard yeah, answer. Things I really look for in a man. I like, I like a sense of humour and kindness. Yeah. Someone I can get along with, introduce my friends and my family and... Nice, is, fam is family important to you? Yeah, really important to me. Good. And you seem like you've got a sense of humour. Yeah. I like that. Well, it's, it seems like we've got similar values, so... Yeah, it really does. That's, 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 that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> It's so unnatural and weird. I'm actually scared for these two. Ask if he wants kids. No man ever wants kids. Say you need to be married by the end of the year. Damn, that, that'll kill it. Ask his longest relationship. 
I don't really know what any of these are going to... Then again, right? I know some women that are desperate. Desperate for kids. And if the man says he doesn't want kids, it's a complete deal breaker for her. So I'd kind of understand why they'd want to ask this question. Because they'd just be like, are you going to put a baby in us? Because if you're not, you can fuck off. Uh, but I think probably the right answer. Definitely no man wants to be married. Marriage is an absolute sham. It means nothing. Oh, you never put a ring on me finger uh, to show your commitment. Bitch, I'm with you. That's fucking commitment. I'm dedicated to you. That's commitment. Marriage proves nothing. It's a complete waste of everybody's time. Oh, celebrate me in my relationship. Fuck off, man. You're not that important. No one gives a fuck. Right. Ask his longest relationship. That's going to be probably the right answer. I fucking hate marriage. That's probably one of the I, strongest uh, things I feel about. My longest relationship's been like... Three and a half years. Okay. What about yours? Uh, six. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've been single for a couple of years now. It's Okay. Yeah, I'm more than happy being on my own. I've just you know, been looking for the right person. So, I'm not into just you know, bouncing from relationship to relationship. And nice. It's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool as well. Um, it shows his pedigree. Uh, in general, if a guy is, I don't know, like 30 years old and he's only had relationships for two, three months, mm -hmm. could be bad. I would still ask him if you know he could have been doing charity work in Africa for several years or trekking Antarctica. I think it's worth knowing if there is a valid reason for this. So it's a potential red flag but could be okay. And I guess it's the same for guys looking for a serious relationship. If a woman's only had, I don't know, two weeks, one month, mm -hmm. then uh, it could mean that she's not relationship material. Or, yeah, maybe she's got a reason. Yeah. Hmm. So I read this really interesting Harvard study and it said that 76% of women would rather their partners have um, like a one night stand rather than having an emotional connection with another person, right? right. But the men are completely the opposite. So 78% of men would rather their partners just have a bit of an emotional connection with someone but if they had a one night stand or meaningless sex, what? Mental. How do you feel? Well, I think they're both as important as each other. I think an emotional connection is just as important as having great sex. I think you need both to have a successful relationship. Now, do you agree or...? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. But... But what? Well, I didn't expect you to say that. Oh. <laughs> well... Not gonna lie. I got a bit distracted there. I didn't fully understand the question, but now that they've said it, so what they're saying is most, the majority of women prefer I don't know. I've got no idea what you just said. I've got no idea what you just said. More women would prefer an emotional connection I'm not going to lie, I'm just making it up. I've got no idea what you just said. Ask about his relationship with his mum and dad. Tell him that he shouldn't talk to other women if he dates you. Oh my God, imagine that. I can imagine, I've never been in a relationship like that. I've, to, to be honest, I've been pretty... I've been pretty lucky in all the relationships I've had. Everyone's been pretty normal, to be honest. Uh, but imagine that. Imagine if you were with a woman and she was just like, you will not speak to any other woman while you're with me. I'd just be like, yeah, pet, on your bike. See you later. Call his ex for the lowdown on him. Oh my god, that could be some psycho bunny boiling shit, that. That's a good question. Are you still on good terms with your exes? Now, this is a really strange one because I think I got asked this question and I'm not on bad terms with any of my exes. That just like me exes you know what I mean like I don't speak to them or anything but if I saw them when I was out I'd still like I'd say hi so yeah I think that's a good question to ask because 
if you're on bad terms with your exes, then chances are you might be a big fucking problem in the relationship, to be honest. So your um your ex girlfriend from the six year relationship? Yeah. You you still on good terms or Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, I wish her well. Yeah, I mean we don't you know, speak all the time, but if we run into each other everything's you know, <laughs> fine and civil. It's exactly what I just said. Beast mode. That, really. Yeah. But how about you? Yeah, no. My exes are exes for a reason, but yeah. of course I wish them well and yeah, nice um, memories and all that, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Cool. I would want to know the reason they broke up. I think that's important as well. That's another good question. And actually, um, you know, this is the right option, but it's also a little bit contrived. You know, this might be something more for a first or second mm -hmm. date, uh, but it is important information because if he has very bad relationships with his exes and had horrible, horrible breakups, it means that he's um, either choosing the wrong women or he's causing the women to... He's the instigator. Yes. So it's a good yes. one and it works for guys. Uh, to ask women this question as well. I think it's a solid question. It's just a question of uh, how soon it should be. And I'd say first date, second date is, is a good place. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, of course, it's getting, it's getting good now. All my rings are like important. They all like mean yeah. things from where I've been around the world. What's that one, mate? This one was from Malaysia okay. when I was backpacking when I was young. It's very pretty. What's, what's this one from? This one is from Nicaragua. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah, very cool. Mm. About that one? Mm, that's just from London, where I live. Ah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> oh, bit of hand holding, bit of touch, and bit of bodily contact. Oh, I don't know about the hair touching, that's a bit rapey. What's he doing? Oh, he stroked her arm. That is that is scary. Mm -hmm. This is not right. <laughs> it's not right, lads. This is not right. I really like you. <laughs> Should we grab a bottle of wine and go back to mine? <sighs> oh. Yeah. That's the wrong answer. He just fucked it up. He just fucked it up. That's amazing. Because that's not what we're looking for. That is hilarious. Say you won't be drinking wine because you're going to be pregnant soon. <laughs> As if she wants a baby put in her. Logically explain why not. But say you'd be happy to meet him another time. Now this is the right answer because they um, we need to let him know that the flaps are closed tonight. Although they shouldn't be because you've got to test the you've got to test the goods. But you wouldn't say that because that would really put him off. Somehow get a condom first because safe sex is important. Oh, let I'm sorry. I, I cannot help myself. I need to see him get dick up. I cut it again. Yeah, okay. Come back. Cool. I wouldn't usually do this, but... Can I ask just one thing? I mean, it's, yeah. it's silly. It's so small, but it's just really important to me. Um, okay. Could just got a fucking tape measure? Yeah, what? No, no. What the, what's, Come what on. You, no, what are you. No. <laughs> just, no, what the fuck? No. What? I just oh, want just... a rough idea. Oh, I just talked them out again. Shit. 
She is a psycho. She just killed this guy with the tape measure. She's like the Black Widow. Take him home. He looks like a good strong chap. Nice. Nice. Cool. What? So she took a guy home. Not the best guy, maybe. But what do you think of the tape measure? Best. No. Sorry, no. I'm not a big fan of the uh, tape measuring technique. I cannot believe it. <gasps> We're still got. We've still got Casanova. It's always a great place to start. No way. <laughs> so, in that episode, you can just completely choke a guy out brutally in the middle of a bar and go home with some fucking truck driver. What on earth did I just do there? Right. I... <sighs> we need to quickly go through that again. That was not what I was planning. See, these, the, the episodes where you play as a girl are so dangerous because you can actually get really bad endings. Right, quickly, quickly, let's get through this. Bang. Middle of the bar. Bang, bang. Yes, we know, we know Solid. that's amazing. Smile. Be a legend. Yes, I'm... But at the, oh, this is so hard because at the end of, end of this, I want to have sex with that guy. <laughs> you heard me. I want to have sex with the guy. But I know it's the wrong choice. I'm going to be friendly to the barman. Really Let's good. see what happens. Well done. It's, it's the right option. We knew so that. We knew that was the right option. There we go, we're going to invite people to be friendly. This... Come on, let me through. This guy, we're going to politely decline. Bye bye. Reject. I think this is quite a... Reject. Politely. Okay, so... She... Um, open your body language to him. That's the right one. So this. The... What I'll do is I will pick the right answer for the ending because I know that's what we're supposed to do. Say you've been the one searching for. Be friendly. Be quite friendly. Say yeah, so Mick. Mick. So. Right, we're nearly there, lads. We're nearly there. I think that depends. Yeah, we've got it. This is it. This is the last part, isn't it? I'm sure it is. We'll choke them out again if we wanted. Um, there, this one. Yeah, I think you can. T so um, are you right. The the the, the lass in the this red is dress has left us now, hasn't she? Oh no, she's still there. Longest relationship. Come on. This is. Right, this is it, 23 minutes later. But the hell have been talking for 23 minutes? I wonder what they've been chatting about. But this is where he starts touching that. Awful. Logically explain why why not, but say you'd be happy to meet him another time. This is probably going to be the right one if we're looking for a long-term partner. Although I don't agree with this. I think she should go back and have I'd sex really with him. I'd really like that, but... Um meet up again first like 
I don't know, date or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Cool. I'll, I'll give you my number. All right. Just want to put it in? There we go. Ring it, mate, ring it, you, ring it. Local, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You need to get a cab or can you walk back? Yeah, I'm going to grab a cab. So. Okay, sweet. So I've brought you outside and we'll order you a cab. Cool. All right, off to you. No, oh, that's nice of him. He'll be straight back in here hitting on other girls after he gets well to done. a cab. Well that's the right option. Obviously, it's maybe not the best way to start a long-term relationship to kind of jump into bed right away. Mm -hmm. What do you think? No, I totally agree, but it's... Um, Why? Yeah, I totally agree with that. I don't agree with that. Super seducer. Well, obviously that 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 is yeah, the so right. For me. So what was the one questionable one? I think. What happens when we die? Uh, it was a bit intense, although it was pretty funny. I don't know what the right answer for that would be because all the other options were quite boring. Right, wait what? there, main menu. So, yeah, the ah, uh, dear nah, like. My opinion, I kind of understand that going back with someone on the first night is maybe not good for a long-term relationship, but at the same time, why does it really matter? Because the thing with humans, and well not just humans, the thing with society, right? Is people play games there's too much game playing like oh if someone sleeps with you on the first night they don't think much of you anything what a load of bullshit like that's something someone made up to try and fucking justify why they don't get fucked on a first date or, or, or someone's got too much pride I think the problem with humans is that people have got too much pride and it's a completely worthless thing you know what pride is it's a fucking fictional made up thing, that's a waste of fucking everybody's time. A reason why a lot of things don't get done in life is because of pride and morals and shit like that. And didn't get us wrong. Certain morals and certain values and thoughts of life are are very important. But stupid things where people say like, oh if you have sex on the first date you're a slut. That just shames people. Like it, it's it's not you're not a bad person for having sex on the first the first night and it doesn't mean that you don't want a long-term relationship because at the end of the day you want to sample the goods do you know what i mean however saying that i think it could be a good idea to also get to know the person so if you meet someone in a club like that go home have sex i can kind of see why it might be awkward because you probably don't want to you probably haven't built up that rapport built up that relationship yet where you'll be comfortable in comfortable alone in each other's presence where you won't just feel like you've been pumped and dumped so yeah i can kind of say the answer or say the reason why because if you go on a first date you'll get to know them a lot better and when you do take them home you'll be a lot com more comfortable in each other's company. So I can see both sides of the story, although I'm not entirely on board with going having sex on the first night or first meeting is a bad thing. I don't, I don't, I don't 100% agree with that. Right, so what's the next, the next episode is actually the last episode. I hope we're back with Richard because as much as I like the female ones, it's just not as funny. Girl in a group of guys, Oh my god, we're going in there like a bull in a china shop. A girl and a group of guys, we're going to go there, want to kick everybody's head in, take the damsel, fucking Neanderthal style. Right, see you in the next episode, lads.